Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Xbox Series X that's having a HDMI port issue. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what we can see. All right, so today we have a Xbox Series X issue with the HDMI port. And um, let's go over to actually the microscope and see what we can see when we look into the port. It's always good to look into the port to make sure that it is the actual port before you do any work on the console. So as you can see, we have the HDMI port and you can, you can definitely tell if you look on the left hand side over here that this pin over here is broken off. The middle plastic piece so you can get you can really see that very clear so this is the um, HDMI port and we're gonna have to go on ahead and um, replace that so if you guys remember I already did a video on how to replace HDMI ports on Xbox Series X's um, the reason why I'm doing this video right now is because um, the first video that I did, I actually showed you guys how to retrofit the HDMI port. So that I think we took a Xbox One S HDMI port and put it inside of an Xbox series, but that was before we was able to get our hands on the Xbox One X official HDMI ports. Now that they're starting to manufacture them and now that they're becoming a lot more common, I wanted to show you guys how to be able to do it with an official um, Xbox One X HDMI port. So let's get it down to the motherboard and see what we can see. All right, so we have it all the way down to the motherboard. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tweezers, our Husky tweezers. We're gonna take our Wagner um, heat gun. We're gonna turn this um, heat gun up and I'm gonna show you guys exactly where I put the settings at. I put the fan on high. I put the heat on the second highest to the top bar. Um, I know it's kind of a little bit hard to see, but it's at the second um, hottest bar that it can get. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our heat gun. Hopefully I can be able to get a good view. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place our heat gun right under the HDMI port like this. Allow the solder to heat up. I'm gonna have the tweezers in here like so. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply desolder it. And I'll switch over to the microscope so you guys can see what it looks like under the micro. Still got the heat gun underneath the HDMI port. Make sure my fume extractor is on as well. Still heating it up. As you guys can see, I still got my heat gun, I got my tweezers, and the HDMI port ready to pull it off as soon as the solder melts. So I'm gonna keep it under that micro just so I can see when that solder heats up because if you take it off too early, you will end up um, ripping off some of the traces and that's a process to get that back on. So, all right, so we got the HDMI port taken off, switch back over to the upper cam. So as you can see, I have it in the tweezers just like this. I pulled it straight off. Um, I just waited until that solder was hot enough to be fully melted so we could get it pulled off. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch back over to our microscope. I'm gonna take, actually before I switch over there, I'm gonna show you guys what I have. I have this um, 8341 No Clean Flux. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some of this flux on the motherboard. Let's put it throughout the header, the four anchor points, and back over to our upper cam. Now we're going to take some of our um, solder. Now you can obviously get this off of Amazon. I wanna give you guys a good view of it. And I have my Hacko um, solder iron that I have turned all the way up. 
And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and solder all the anchor points first. Now we got all anchor points soldered. Now we're gonna go ahead and solder the header. All right, the header looks good now. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, as you can see, we have our new HMI port and the tweezers. As you can see, I'm just holding it just with the top portion of the HMI port. Hopefully there's a little bit of light over here so you can see. Just hold it, avoid the middle plastic piece and obviously the pin so you won't break the new HMI port. And we're gonna hold it just like how we took out the old HMI port just like that and we're going to do what we did in reverse so i want you guys to see what we have let me adjust some of the light we're going to place our hmi port over top of it and we're going to go ahead well first off what we're going to do is we're going to obviously heat it up with the heat gun and we're going to going ahead and um, wait until the solder melts and then place our HMI port in there as soon as the solder melts. So let's get our fume extractor and light back over here. I got my heat gun back at the same settings that it was at previously and I have my heat gun right back under it. So let's go over to the microscope. Let's see when it heats up. Now as soon as the solder melts, I'm going to remove the heat gun away. And I'm going to go ahead and place the HMI port on there. The reason why I don't want to leave the heat gun underneath there while I'm placing the HMI port on there is because you risk melting some of the plastic inside of the new HMI port. And just to avoid melting some of that plastic, it's best just to go ahead and move it away as soon as you place it. So let's see. <clears throat> So it's heating up. Should be good. Let's see. All right. So we're gonna, we went on ahead and got the new HMI port on there. Let me make sure it's on there straight before I do anything else. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our no clean flux. We're going to apply it across the entire HMI header. And we're going to take our solder iron and we're going to individually solder down each and every single pin down to the header. So we're going to start one by one, heating it up. My tip on heating these up is just go just like this. I kind of just like flow from the back go forward now I have to go a little bit slower because there is a delay in my microscope since I have it hooked up to the PC recording at the same time so I have to go at a little bit of a delay with doing it so this is what we're going to do with the entire header So now what, what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm thoroughly making sure all the pins are soldered down. So I don't apply barely any pressure because if you apply too much pressure, you will break the pin. So I just kind of just push. If it wiggles, I take the solder iron and I do a, even more of a thorough job of soldering it down. As you can see, all the pins look good. I don't see no resistance or wiggle. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a regular toothbrush like this, 
I'm gonna take some of this um, IPA. Um, it's just regular alcohol. If you don't have any alcohol, you can use um, Windex. Always recommend alcohol because it's gonna be what's best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, let me turn off this fume extractor. I'm gonna take off the Kapton tape Now we're going to, I'm going to dip my toothbrush in the IPA, kind of take a towel just like so, and just go around the HMI port just like this. And I'll show you what it looks like under the microscope. Let's see. Let me take it over. All right, so now we're gonna take a Q-tip. I'm gonna just go around the header. Just kind of just bring it back and forth like this. Go around the sides a little bit. And now we have a clean, brand new HDMI port. So now, the only thing we have to do now is just put all of this back together, test it out, make sure it works, and um, go from there. All right, so we have the Xbox Series X fully put back together right here. Um, I'll just show you guys right here. It's kind of hard to see. The fan is kind of turning a little bit. But we're going to turn it on and um, see what we could get. So turned on. And we are good. All right, so everything looks to be going just fine with this Xbox Series X. So we actually have no more issues or problems with this console. But if you guys do have any questions on anything regarding the Xbox Series X while doing your HMI port repair, go on ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Um, or just go ahead and reach out to me at our website, gogamers.com. We also do organize other people's repairs. So if you would like to send in your um, Xbox Series X to us, reach out to us at gogamers.com. Besides that, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you're going ahead and smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more repairs just like this one. If you want to see a certain repair, leave the comment down below and I'll make sure I'll try to get that repair uploaded for you guys as quick as possible. But besides that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.